Ladies and gentlemen, today we're touring Cadence. Cadence is a master plan community in the southeast side of the Las Vegas Valley. And uh, I'm gonna be driving through it to show you all the pros and cons of this community. Is this the right place for you to move if that's what you're looking to do? And um, with that said, let's start getting into it. My name is Jack Graham for those of you who don't know me. I am a realtor out here in the Las Vegas Valley and I help people from out of town especially move out here uh, to Las Vegas. I give them all the information they need. I tour all the homes that they need to see, all the, especially new construction, and uh, all the neighborhoods so that they can make an educated decision on whether or not this is the right place for them. So pretty much, uh, you know, your connection to uh, the Las Vegas Valley. And um, yeah, so if you're interested in that, feel free to reach out to me. All my information is down below in the description so you can get um, in touch with me and I can help you out. With that said, I'm driving right now on the Lake Mead Parkway. Okay, so if you want to follow me on the map, when you uh, are on the 215 freeway, the 215 freeway and you're driving, um, and you're driving east, towards Cadence, the 215 freeway uh, becomes Lake Mead Parkway. Right now I'm at the intersection between Lake Mead Parkway and Boulder Highway, which is this street right here. So in about two to three minutes or so, we will arrive to Cadence. Um, and if you want to move forward and go see you know the community directly you know so go straight to cadence and you want to see that neighborhood you can skip forward and see when i get there however i do like to give information about the surrounding neighborhood of cadence as well so that people are aware they're not just buying a you know a neighborhood in the middle of nowhere uh, you know because all the surroundings that is around cadence does make an influence on someone's decision to purchase a home out there or not. As you can see right now, we are um, going east and uh, over here we do have uh, a lot of homes. So there's two things I want to mention right now. And that's why I wanted to show you this place. Number one, what kind of neighborhood is around? If you look over here on this side, we have some homes from, you know, 70s or 80s. As you can see, we got the you know, no HOA here with um, older homes, not uh, not the best looking ones for sure. Now, if uh, you also have a, where is it called? Um, I think that is the one actually, is that the, uh, no, it's not. Hold on, let me show you guys. There is, and I'll get to it in a second. Uh, there is a mobile home park out here, right next to uh, right next to Cadence, where Cadence starts. And Cadence is going to be on the left side of Lake Mead, so right there. Okay. Now, let me zoom in a little. Okay, perfect. So, over to the right side. Same thing. See these homes? So it's a little bit more rundown, a little bit older area, because this is the older Henderson area. These are homes that were built back in the 70s or 80s for people that used to work at, uh, oh, yep, yeah, that, that was the mobile home park. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna make a U-turn and show you guys. But uh, back in the 70s or 80s, that's when we, well, actually we built it from before that, but we have people that were building the uh, Hoover Dam. Uh, here in Las Vegas, which was a huge uh, amount of business for people, right? And this is Cadence. We're going to get in there in a second, right? Uh, but yeah, so what they did is in order to provide the housing, they built these homes uh, for the people that used to work at Lake Mead, which is only like 15 minutes away from here. Um, and it was closer to the city, you know? So they built all these homes and that's why we have these older houses right here. Now, does that mean uh, that these are bad? No, they're not. It's up to you to determine whether or not you like, the, uh, you know, this neighborhood or not. Uh, as a matter of fact, there is um, there's a need for everything, right? There's a there's a neighborhood for everyone, and that's what you have to determine from this video. Okay. Now, what I'm going to show you, however, is the mobile home park next to you guys. Uh, if you plan on buying a, a cadence a home in cadence, okay. This is literally the corner, the south 
uh, west corner of Cadence. This is like literally once you step over this sidewalk right here, that is Cadence. You see all the beautiful trees right here. You can see what ni how nice it is. And also, in addition to the bad, I'm also going to show you the good of Cadence and all the other neighborhoods that are surrounding it, all the uh, all the good stuff. However, since we're starting right here, I'm going to show you this side of town as well. Okay. Uh, and that's why people hire me because, you know, I speak the truth. I disclose everything they need to know to these people so that I can make a good decision, you know. And um, over here to the right, you see that place right there, which we're going to right now. Actually, as a matter of fact, I could go if I am uh, if I make a U-turn there. So let me make a right right here so we can get into Cadence as well. see all of this skaters they just built this smith's marketplace right there that is a huge grocery store which we're gonna go see in a second i've never gotten in there before but i've seen the one up in sky canyon and it's very amazing okay now we are going over to the mobile home park that is right here now that doesn't mean that Okay, this is, uh, it is close at the boundaries of Cadence, but it's still far away from maybe the house that you're going to buy. There it is. Okay. Oh, Sunburst Shutters. Oh, they're, they're just doing the, you know, commercials there. Okay, so it looks like this is a gas station, but it's closed off. I'm not sure. It's for sale. Well, okay, so this is that mobile home park that I talked to you guys about. Now, this is not in Cadence, it's next to Cadence, okay? So, you can kind of uh, get an idea of what's surrounding it as well, okay? Now, Cadence is on the other side, and we're going to go there in a second, okay? Let's make a heel turn really quick here. So, you know, mobile homes, these are have been turned into single-family homes, I believe. And what happens is uh, they get the land. So when you have a mobile home, you technically, like this one, this one is not turned into a, a single-family home because it's just literally floating on a piece of land. So what this means is the land is either leased or owned by the person that owns this mobile home. And it's just sitting there they either pay rent for the land and then the, the the property might be worth like 50 grand or something like that is owned by the person that lives in it and um, or maybe they it might be rented out and it might be owned by an investor we don't know but what happens is usually when you want to turn it to a single family home it needs to have that side like that it needs to be anchored to the floor and that's when it can be turned into a single family home which has a lot of benefits to for the people that are purchasing it as they can get a single family home you know like a regular uh, conforming home onto the house which makes it easier for them to purchase okay with that said uh, I wanted to show you that side and then we're gonna go over to Cadence now which is a beautiful master plan community and it will help you let's see if I can make a u-turn there don't judge me guys I know there's gonna be people commenting there Oh, you're a crazy driver and all that stuff. Sorry, I'm doing all of this with one hand so I can hold the gimbal with the other hand. All right, so this would be the Smith's. Is that the Smith's? Uh, yeah, Smith's gas station. Smith's gas station. And we'll get into the neighborhood and all the new construction, by the way, guys. I don't know if I forgot to mention it at the beginning of the video. But, yeah, we're going to go and see all the new construction available out here in Cadence. So, it'll give you an idea of what you can buy and what you cannot buy. Here it is. That's the 
huge Smiths. It's like a huge Smiths marketplace with a lot of, uh, you know, they have clothes, uh, food, uh, you know, pharmacy. And this one just literally opened up recently. I'm not gonna get into it for the purpose of the video, trying to keep it as short as possible. But then eventually, once you decide to move out here to Las Vegas, uh, obviously we will get you set up uh, where we see all your options here in Cadence or maybe other uh, community out there in Las Vegas. Uh, that way you can, uh, how do you say? Make a decision, okay, with which place is best for you. And I'll guide you through the whole process to show you all the neighborhood, the stores around it, because at the end of the day, real estate is all about location, location and location. So if this is the right location for you, you will figure it out. Now this is Cadence, I'm already in Cadence, okay? That, so that corner where that marketplace, right, Smiths, that one is, already cadence and as you can see when you are in a master plan community all the common areas so all the streets that you see out here they're all landscaped perfectly they, they upkeep it they clean it up they clean all the leaves and all that stuff that's what happens when you have a master plan community that they take care of all those things uh, as you can see over here to the left we have some uh, these are Lennar homes you also have woodside homes building these nice homes with the garage in the back and the entrance in the front right here with the front porch you have uh, party homes right there or four more uh, party homes and we're getting into the heart of cadence by the way guys so you're about to see where the main stuff is as you can see we have uh, some nice modern looking houses these are built by what right now is tripoint and former party homes and uh, cadence has been uh, being built for I would say the last five to six years or so they probably have another ten years to go to finish this community now Cadence is the master plan community so the HOA however it is located in Henderson so you are purchasing a home in Henderson but the a association that manages this side of town, uh, well, this specific community, so all this neighborhood that we're touring right now, is Cadence, which is the name of the HOA, okay? Um, so Cadence is the community, the city that you're living in is Henderson. Now let me go get out really quick here, so I can show you what's outside. We have a hard, uh, an artificial lake beautiful place to come hang out Oops. all right let's go see it this is a man-made lake right in the heart of cadence a uh, master plan community here at this master plan community has an HOA of forty dollars per month all of these amenities are included so this is a nice place to come hang out i don't think you can dive in there in the summer or anything for that we do have a community pool which is down there and i'll show it to you guys in a second so i'm going to show you all the amenities right here and then we're going to go into all the new construction home where everything is at okay now in addition to being surrounded by some older neighborhoods like we saw earlier uh, Cadence is also surrounded by some amazing golf course communities and beautiful neighborhoods like Tuscany, which is uh, just behind Cadence right there on the north east side. And then you have all the way down there east, you have Lake Las Vegas, which is another massive community. Um, not Lake Las Vegas a nice video tour of that community because it's gorgeous out there um but yeah i mean 40 dollars a month however is a great value as far as the amenities that you're getting in this community you have a community pool beautiful artificial lake nice place to go and hang out you got you see park slides for kids 
And this is more of the center of Cadence. So you have these homes that are a little bit smaller with small backyards, like you see over here to the right. And at the end of the day, you know, you, if you're buying a home here in Cadence, you do have a beautiful community that you're living in. And it's far, it's, it's a little bit farther out from, you know, the older part that is across the street. It's kind of like the old saying that they say, oh, once you pass the, the train uh, rails or whatever, uh, you know, the, the neighborhood is bad or whatever, right? Now, I'm not insinuating that that's the case. I'm just saying that's what, you know, the, it, it, there's an objective difference here between Cadence and the neighborhood across the street, right? As you can see right here, we have families coming out to, you know, barbecue, do picnics. And we are in a nice, it's a Sunday, so, you know, the traffic that you saw on, on, the, on the freeway, coming here it's not as good as uh, it, it's not the traffic that you'll normally get here's another spot right here you have uh, right here these are bathrooms I believe then you have some uh, places right there for kids to hang out you see the uh, playground for the kids over there huge grass areas so really really nice the center of cadence got the houses all next to it it kind of gives me that vibe of inspirato okay so your plan sorry we also have that mass what's it called what are we talking about the um, the community pool okay and we're gonna start seeing all the new construction communities where you can buy a home. As you can see, we got a lot of these Palo Verde trees. Palo Verde, because that's the... green, everything pretty much in it. But, we gotta zoom out a little bit so you can, can see better. And let's go down this road. Because this to the left is all that playground area, but then all around you to the right, we have homes, okay? So this is kind of like the center of Cadence. As you can see, they do desert landscaping, which I think is smart, you know, I, uh, right now all the master plan communities are more desert landscaping. Comparing this, for example, with Green Valley that was built back in the 80s and 90s, you know. Uh, right now, uh, this com these communities, they're not built with all the green grass that they used to have because of water efficiency, you know. Uh, we're becoming smarter and smarter when it comes to to water conservation and all these communities pretty much you know I mean yes there's some grass out here but that's it all the other areas are very nice uh, but just that's a landscape here require very little water this is pretty much the end of the center of cadence okay right here so you, you have plenty of parks for dogs and all that stuff we passed actually that right there that is the community pool it's not that big it's a good size um, you know, bring your kids out there. That'd be cool. Over here, we do have a lot of townhomes. We have Richmond American homes with the Oriosa collection. You also have some single family homes right behind it. We'll go see them. Over to the right, we have Avery Place by Harmony Homes. Uh, townhomes, you know, 1,300 square feet. We'll go over all that pricing and all. But first, I just wanted to show you what are the amenities of this community. So community pool, nice playgrounds huge areas of grass uh, nice uh, center area and then when it's master planned what you have is rarely do you get any traffic in these neighborhoods because it's a little bit on the outskirts first of all and second they are very well planned as far as the streets and, and all the rest goes all these trees right here now are very uh, you know just planted so you're not gonna get all the green yet until probably you live in the, in the neighborhood for about 10 years, I would say. It's gonna get greener and greener. Okay. Um, all right, let's go over some options. So, 
all the area that they're building right now is all on the south side sorry on the north side of that center you know where all the park is and also on the east side okay of Cadence so what I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna make a u-turn I'm gonna start all the way out there to the left well to the west side of Cadence and I'm gonna make my way down because I'm, I'm on the north side right which is to my right and uh, I'm gonna cut I'm gonna start from over there from the west side what northwest and make my way down with all the new construction I'm gonna talk to you about pricing what style of home it is I'm not going to go into the house and show you uh, the layout of the home because that would take me days to go through all of them but if you go into my channel if you're subscribed to the channel you know that I have toured all of these communities already in person so you can go you can write down the name of that community that we're about to see and uh, go look at the floor plan this is obviously going to be uh, a video just for the neighborhood so that people can make a good decision okay all right so we're almost there to the end this is cabaret which is actually the it's another uh, technically this is andante in cadence which is by richmond american homes yeah that's it okay first there's one community i want to show you storybook that's the first community we're going to see by oh it, it's a rhapsody the community by storybook okay and i apologize if i mess up some things but you got to consider that I am just going off of memory, okay? Because I just know all these communities that work with these builders uh, all the time because I have a lot of clients that come from out of town and I help them purchase these homes. Rhapsody, all single story homes by Storybook. Storybook has been recently purchased by Toll Brothers. And uh, this is going to be their lower end entry level style home uh, business. So they have these uh, single stories anywhere between 1,500 square feet to up to 1,800 square feet, just like you see them right here on the right. And uh, really nice floor plans. They're building some nice homes, a very good value proposition. You are probably going to be at around 460 to 480 out the door for these houses. That is after you add all the lot premiums and all that good stuff good size backyards you know about 20 to 30 feet deep uh, very modern looking homes okay as you can see right here you have the modern looking option you have an elevation more of the Spanish contemporary look and here's what that neighborhood will look like now there are no gates in Cadence so this is all open uh, and anybody can drive in now not that the gated community is really gonna you know save you from anybody because you know, you can just get into the gate if uh, if you have the option to do so. Um, now, that was the first one, Rhapsody. Now, as far as money, you know, how much you're making, how much you're getting for your money, that is a really good option because to buy a single story nowadays, three bedrooms, you know, with uh, 1,800 square feet at 500,000 or maybe even less, that's really difficult to find, especially in a master plan community. So... As we go over here, we have, I'm gonna go down there, which is uh, the next community we're gonna see, which is Harmony Homes. Harmony Homes is uh, is the builder, and uh, the community name is Quail Park. These are townhomes. They are starting from the 300s. So townhomes anywhere between 1,100 square feet, and I've toured all of these, by the way, guys. You just go to my YouTube channel, and uh, you, you look up the name. Harmony Homes has these townhomes. They're probably going for the higher threes once you put in all the options and depends on the floor plan that you get. But if you get the bigger floor plan, which is the last one over here, that's about 1,700 square feet. And then the first one, which is all the way down there, is 1,100 square feet. You can kind of pick and choose which model you like the best. So they have square footages in between, but usually you get three bedrooms, uh, with a nice open floor plan downstairs, two car garage, pretty much in all of them. Okay, um, going all the way up to maybe four hundred thousand out the door. 
that is a really good option. If you want to be in a nice neighborhood like this one, you want to have, um, you know, three bedrooms, you don't want to spend too much, but you want a single, uh, new construction home, that could be a great option. Also for investors, that could be a great opportunity. Think about it. With 400000 you can get a nice entry-level home, and uh, $400,000 for let's say you put 20 20 percent down over there you're looking at about 80 no what is it? yeah eighty thousand dollars down you'll get two thousand uh, dollars a month probably in rent for a 1700 square feet model maybe even more maybe 2200 uh, and your mortgage on on a home like that is probably going to be somewhere around 1500 so you get some good cash flow coming in you know about 500 dollars a month i would say and this is just a rough estimate okay i'm not don't, don't quote me on that. Obviously, we need to run the numbers, which is another service that we provide for our clients, in addition to all the video tours and all that stuff. Over to the left, Richmond American Homes. Let's start. Some of their best floor plans, in my opinion, for Richmond are the single homes, uh, are the single stories. And they do have the two stories right here across the street they built. This is the smaller collection of their single stories, which includes also the Annika, uh, Arabelle, the, what's it called, the uh, Avalon, the Sarah floor plan. These are all these single story homes right here. That, that would be probably the competition to the storybook homes that we just saw. But uh, those homes, they're going in the high 500s now, which actually, as a matter of fact, they already closed out that community and they're not selling them anymore because they sold it out. Uh, that was about a few months ago. But now they plan on opening another community. We do have Cabaret, however. Cabaret, which is these single story homes right behind me. Let me make a quick U turn and show you those really quick. Because. Those are the bigger single stories that they have, up to 2,800, actually 2,600, because they don't have the Darius floor plan here. Um, but up to 2,600 square feet, single stories, huge homes. You can do the 10 foot ceilings here. Uh, three car garage on these ones, beautiful homes. But these are gonna go in the high 600s, okay? So looking at high 600s, low 700s, you know, for, for these houses. Uh, out the door, you can expect to spend about 750 even on the bigger floor plans that they have, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, when we head out, a little bit more east okay so because now we're going farther out east we're still on the northern side of Cadence because all the southern side where the park was and all those uh, areas around it those are already built out right we are trying to see right now what's available right now for sale okay out here in the northern part of Cadence because this is the area where they have land to build. And um, we have Ariozo. These are townhomes. And also we do have Bel Canto and Allegro. So we'll go through them together. We'll show you what they have to offer on those. And then we'll head out over onto the east side, which is more farther down there, which is where they have some bigger homes, you know, two-story homes, a bigger 3,000, 300 square feet, two-story homes. We'll go see them all. So over here we do have still Richmond building pretty much any kind of a floor plan. You have the bigger single stories, the smaller single stories. You have the town homes over here. These are 1,500 square feet, the Boston and the Chicago floor plan by Arielzo. Now these are connected in the middle, you know, the two, the two uh, floor plans. And uh, it's kind of like a duplex, but they sell them individually. And those are going for the low 400s right now. You also have Bel Canto. Bel Canto, they do not have a model home open yet. They plan on building them, but for now, they just have a little office right here, which they use to sell the houses on it. And those are going to be townhomes similar to the Ariosa collection, which is the one behind us that we just saw. However, it will have 
uh, bigger square footage, so around 2,000 square feet, which will give you three bedrooms and a loft as well. As you go over here, we also have Allegro. Now we're looking at single family homes with, uh, you know, anywhere between 1,600 square feet with uh, other floor plan then we have the boxwood floor plan about 1800 square feet and then going up all the way to the hibiscus and the oleander floor plan which are um, which are going to be about 1900 square feet okay these homes are going anywhere between i would say 500,000 up to even 600 if you start adding up all those homes all, all the all the upgrades the lot premiums and all the good stuff that they add you're gonna have quite some uh, uh, quite a price right there for single-family homes however you do get a backyard over here which is cool you also get a front patio right here it's cool so yeah that's the options that Richmond has that's pretty much it uh, as far as Richmond goes I think but we're gonna head out over. Now we're headed west, but we're gonna go head out east to see the other options available to purchase. And there are quite a few, I would say. Not as many as other places in town and, uh, and as other master plan communities, but quite a few options, especially when it comes to townhomes, and single stories there are quite a few but pretty much any kind of home you want we can find it for you out here in this neighborhood if this is the right place for you by the way if you haven't done so already hit that like button i would really really appreciate it and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this also if you stay until the end leave me a message down there let me know that you stayed until the end uh, just right I stayed until the end because I want to know how many people actually saw this video all the way you know or if I'm just a crazy guy that's just doing videos for no reason anyway serenity place what serenity place they changed it I guess it's another community well it used to be Avery place right there but now they made it a serenity place which is pretty much the same uh, floor plans but in a different community and they rebranded it so now these are still the model homes right here these are town homes anywhere between 1200 square feet all the way up to 1800 square feet uh three bedrooms although uh, even having the loft three bedrooms and a loft they just renamed it right now to serenity place it used to be avery place uh just because they finished selling all the homes on this lot which was avery place and now they're selling uh the the homes for what's it called uh, for another piece of lots another community called serenity place but pretty much the same floor plans okay similar prices pretty much this is one of my favorites out here good value woodside homes single stories 2,000 square feet all the way up to 20 2400 square feet i believe they even have a next gen option these are going in the starting from the 600 so you're probably going to be at 650 out the door uh, but really really cool floor plans some floor plans have 11 foot ceilings too oh, really really nice or 10 foot ceilings i know it's 10 foot ceilings for sure i just don't know if it's uh 11 foot uh, on some floor plans they have the living room that is uh you know higher uh, as far as the, the height but yeah great great floor plans over there and that community is uh, woodside homes oh, shoot i don't know if i mentioned already in the video if not go back and look at the uh, what's it called the signage over here we have legado legado is the bigger two-story option by richmond okay and uh but i'm not done okay i've got more for you guys coming up we also have toll brothers back here legado is well starting from the 400s what are you talking about maybe four 475 for 495 it starts at but you know out the door right here you're probably going to be at six hundred thousand because these are two stories homes you know anywhere between two thousand square feet going up all the way to i would say what is it from 
2,000 to 2,400 square feet with a bigger floor plan. Um, beautiful home, so. I mean, up to four bedrooms and a loft. More of that two-story, you know, family size uh, home with a good size backyard. This, these are really good options as well. And they're getting close to the end of this one, by the way. Uh -huh. ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. Legato. Now, what else do we have? We have Century coming up next and Toll Brothers. Those are the other two that we're going to visit right now. Now, let me see. I think it's back here that the new models are going to be from Toll Brothers. And this is still Legato. Let me go down so I can show you those Toll Brothers. I remember going back here. Yep, there it is, Everly. Everly is the name of the community by Toll Brothers, which is where you see all those blue flags right there. Single story homes, same floor plans that they have up in Sky Canyon. Uh, these, house, these houses are gorgeous. I'm actually gonna come back here right as soon as I finish the neighborhood tour for you guys. I'm gonna video tour these beautiful model homes by Toll Brothers. Look at the farmhouse, modern farmhouse style, the modern craftsman floor plan. Wow. These are uh, stunning homes anywhere between 2,000 square feet with 10 foot ceilings throughout all the way up to 2,400 square feet with a three car garage. Okay. And uh, or two uh, two car garage with a tandem if you get the two thousand square feet model. Three bedrooms up to four bedrooms and an office. So we'll come back right back out there. But yeah, this one is just they just opened. Starting price you're looking in the mid six hundred, so six fifties or uh, six seventies, I believe. For these four, actually, no, 700, I think it's about 700 starting price. So, you're gonna be at 800 out the door for those houses, but you're buying a tool brother, so you know, some people are willing to pay it uh, if you have the budget and uh, and you have you know the ability to do it, the willingness to, to pay a little bit more for you know, a little bit more upgraded uh, home then definitely Toll Brothers might be the right fit for you. Okay, now we're headed down to show you one of my favorites, communities, out here in Canaan, which is Century. Well, communities, I mean neighborhoods built by Century, which is Suncrest. You have Suncrest 1 and Suncrest 2, okay? Um, which is... the street we're almost there um, I'm a little too east from there but we'll get there uh, but before we get there we have also over here to the right I can't get in there because I would have to go all the around Lenar it's a active adult community so you have to be 55 years old or older to to buy a home there and you're looking at 1300 square feet the lowest all the way up to 3000 square feet for the biggest floor plans that they have available um, nice neighborhood, you know, uh, nice, uh, nice amenities that they have. They have a pool, uh, they have uh, actually indoors pool, spa, all the good stuff that retirement communities offer, you know, kind of like an active adult retirement community. Now we're almost at Century and that's probably where we're going to finish the video today. And I hope this gave you a good insight of what Cadence has to offer as a community. And uh, all the new construction that you have, that way you can actually make a good decision uh, on whether or not this is the right place for you. Okay, we do have right here Suncrest. They have two-story homes. It's exclusively two-story homes, anywhere between 1,900 square feet for the smallest floor plan, going up to 2300 square feet for this is for the Suncrest one 
And then Suncrest 2 has 2,700 square feet. 2,700 square feet, they don't have it modeled, but they have a 2,900 square feet two-story with three-car garage, and then the 3,200 square feet two-story with three-car garage home, okay? Great options. They got the nice modern-looking home right here with the flat roof uh, and, you know, just beautiful, beautiful community. Now, if you made it until the end, for those of you that follow my channel, I appreciate you so much. And also, all the new people that are watching this video, I appreciate you as well. If you're looking for a realtor to help you out purchase a home out here in Las Vegas, I would love to earn your business. Okay, I am out here on a Sunday when I could be spending time with my family to bring you more value so that you can make a great decision on where is the right place for you. Okay, so if you appreciate that and you need a realtor to help you out, I am the guy for you. I specialize, especially from people that are moving out here uh, from another state and have no idea where to go live. I am the guy to reach out because I can connect you with the right communities. And I will get, in, I, I will get you uh, onto a Zoom call where we're going to start talking about all the neighborhoods available, the pros and cons of each neighborhood, and show it to you on video just like you're seeing it right now. That's the value that I bring to all the people that are moving out here because they don't get that information anywhere else. And I connect you with all the builders because I have all the connections. My services to you also are free. Think about it. You're getting all this service from someone uh, from someone that is experienced as an expert with all the new construction homes to connect you with those builders and giving you all the inside and the, out, the, out, the outside information that you need in order to make a decision. Usually my clients, when they come out here or even before coming, they already know where they're going to buy. But you don't know that if you're moving out here and you're trying to do all of this by yourself. You are crazy. So feel free to reach out to me. All my information is down below. Let me know down in the comments if you watch the video until the end. Um, just because, you know, I don't want to make these videos for nobody. I want to know who's actually watching until the end. So right down there, watch until the end. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys uh, for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.